2018 A year of innovation A year of acceptance A year of courage And a year of bravery But There's still a world filled with unhappiness with more than a million voices to be heard and there's still a world filled with problems where millions are overlooked taboos and stigmas around menstruation an issue ignored for hundreds of years so let's take it one step at a time A taboo is something that is forbidden or avoided due to religious or social reasons. A stigma is a mark of disapproval or disgrace associated with something. And menstruation is the process in a woman of discharging blood and other materials from the lining of the uterus. But do taboos and stigmas around periods really exist? Obviously, in Nepal, a historic practice existed where menstruating women were sent away from their house and forced to live alone in huts or sheds because it was believed that they were impure. It is now banned, but previously, women were exiled. And why? because they bleed. In the United Kingdom, a country known for its educational institutes, more than 137,700 of girls missed school in 2017 because they could not afford menstrual products, along with imposed shame and stigma. And why? Because they bleed. In India, a country known for its unity and diversity, periods aren't considered natural. Rather, they are thought to be dirty. And during their menstrual cycle, most women aren't allowed to enter the kitchen or even attend rituals. And why? Because they bleed. Here's where another question came to my mind. Do my friends, family, and those around me face similar problems? I'm not allowed to go to any religious sites. I'm not allowed to go to the puja room of my house. Um, sometimes when we have like male guests over, I'm not, I'm not allowed to like leave my room. I personally am not forced to follow any sort of rules, but I am told that I shouldn't enter the God's room and um, I shouldn't eat curd, and I try to follow these for the most part, but I'm not forced to. I'm not allowed to go near stuff related to God or religious thing. Uh, yes, there are a lot of uh, like stigmas I face during my periods. For instance, I I'm not allowed to enter the puja room or like anywhere where God is. I'm not allowed to go to weddings, and I'm not even allowed to roam around the house. And I'm supposed to sit in a particular place throughout the five days I get my periods. And like on the last day of my periods, I have to wash my hair, it, which basically means like I'm cleansing myself. Personally, I have never faced stigmas or taboos regarding my period. but i do know that other girls do and they face things such as not being allowed to go near the puja or near the temple 
and they're not allowed to go near God. I have even once heard that one girl is not allowed to go near the kitchen during the ministry. If I don't have school and I have holidays or a weekend, I have to stay at home and I can't touch anyone or anything. If I touch it, the person has to take a shower or we have to wash the thing or throw it away based on if it's cloth or not. In terms of my first period, it was actually, um, I didn't have to do much. Just to be comfortable, my mom didn't want me going out and around for like the first two days. But um, one major thing that I've faced over the years of when I've had my period every single time is I'm not allowed to go near any kind of religious activities or religious deities anywhere. If there's a festival or if, like even just at home if we're offering flowers or anything, I'm not allowed to be near that or not allowed to touch them. And that's the main kind of stigma or rule that I've faced. I don't think people should be seen different only because they are on their period. Everyone's the same and they should still be able to do everything. No, it's part of human life. It's the way that women give birth. It's natural and it's a great thing. It shouldn't be such a taboo. Um, I feel like uh, it's not right how they treat periods as a disease when it's not a disease and it's just a normal process that every female gets. Yeah, and I think they should just be more open towards it and talk about it more and spread awareness. Personally, I do not think it makes any sense at all to follow these rules because the menstrual cycle is something natural. It's a life process and it should not be treated as something unnatural. It should not be treated as a taboo. I personally don't really agree with these rules or stigmas that we have about in society, especially in India today, because I feel like what they do is they um, make a girl feel like she's different or she's not supposed to be in a specific kind of surrounding or environment, which doesn't make her feel comfortable with herself. And I mean, it might be important in a religious aspect to a bunch of people, but I personally don't agree with these taboos or rules that we have today. I would tell them to be more open about their experience, to be able to talk to their family members and tell them that they do not feel that it is right because as I mentioned before, it's a life process and it's nothing to be ashamed of. So for girls that are forced to follow these rules, I think that if they're not that extreme and they're fine with following these rules, then they should just go ahead and follow them. But if the taboos are very extreme and they don't like them, then I think girls should go and try to reason with whoever's forcing them to follow these. And that's, yeah. So to girls who have to go through with following all these really strict rules or like adhering to social stigmas, um, I've heard of so many where you, you're not allowed to leave your room for 14 days, you have to stay in a specific corner, you're not allowed to interact with other people and stuff like that. And um, to people who have to go through that, um, I would just like girls to know that, you know, men menstruating is a normal part of life for a healthy girl. and. It shouldn't be associated with shame or impurity and you shouldn't feel uncomfortable. You should be like happy and feel comfortable in your own body. And um, having these stigmas and things and spreading them to like future generations to other people, it's not something we should encourage. We should like support each other and say that, you know, it happens to everybody. So why not just like keep it out and open and just talk about it because it's a natural part of life. And yeah. How is any of this fair? How is it fair that girls as young as 12 have to face such circumstances? How is it fair that any girl or any woman has to face such circumstances? This may seem like a minute issue that is only a problem for 5 days a month. But these norms that women and girls have to face it is eating away at their sense of identity. It is changing their mentality and completely redefining their position in society. So I urge all of you to stand up for yourself and your rights. 
speak up for your sisters, your mom, wife, aunt, and even cousins. Make a stand and stay true to yourself and what you deserve. Take a step in the direction of equality and make a difference. Do what you believe in and everything else will follow in succession. Because no human being, no matter their upbringing or actions, deserves to be treated in a demeaning way. Because these are not the morals and principles you would want to teach. Because this is not the environment you would want your future daughter to live in. And because this, in no way, is just. We live on a planet with seven continents. Seven seas. 195 countries and 7.5 billion people. Making cooperation, coexistence, and equality crucial. Yet in most places, segregation is present. So let me ask you one last question. What does it mean to be human?